what's up welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing y'all a super 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 quick like five minutes you part wig install okay you can get a slag ready for your day in five minutes you sure can and in this video i'm gonna be showing y'all exactly how i did it super fast super quick using this beautiful you part wig from Julia Hair. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Shout out to Julia Hair. Make sure y'all check those links down below in that description box to see all of this wig information. This is a 16 inch you part body wave wig and I am so here for it. I love this wig, I love this hair. It is super, super pretty. I'll do more of a review towards the end of this video. So make sure to keep watching to the end. If you wanna know more about Julia Hair, once again, click those links down below in the description box. Thank you again, Julia Hair. Y'all, this wig is so pretty. So let's go ahead and jump into how I got this real quick cute slate for the day, okay? <laughs> All right, so we about to go ahead and get started. Here is the beautiful U-Part wig from Julia Hair. It's a 16 inch wig, so I'm so excited because it's gonna be like a nice little natural look or whatever. First of all, I am so here for this U-Part wig because I am a fan of how small this um, leave out area is because I do not like U-Part wigs that got the big old like leave out. Like why you need to leave out that much hair? I feel like the smaller, the better. The less hair that's left out, the better. It minimizes, you know, like heat damage issues. And it also just looks better to me. Like I feel like when it's you got a little bit of leave out, it just looks so much more natural, which I'll show y'all in this video. So I'm excited about this wig. Here is the inside of the wig. You got your combs right there um, on the leave out. You got a comb back there, so that is perfect. So you don't have to sew it. You can just, you know, put them combs in and you're good to go. Got combs all around. Yes, ma'am, it's nice and stretchy. This unit seems so thin, so I like how it's like, you know, breathable, stretchy, and just like, yes, honey. So I feel like this is gonna be such a great natural feeling wig. I'm excited to throw this thing on, so let's go ahead and jump into it. My hair is blow dry, I just washed it. Um, conditioned it and blown, blew it, blew it, blown it. How do I say that? Blown it? I blown it out? No, I blew it out. Blew it. Mm -hmm. I did that to my hair, okay? I still have not done a relaxer touch up, so it's been like three months and some change. So I got crazy new growth, as y'all can see, my hair starting to, you know what I'm saying, get big. We're gonna get this hair together, put on this U part, and I'm gonna show y'all the really simple, easy way to put this thing on. So let's get into it. my leave out as you can see not a lot at all just a little bit on the sides to get everything to blend in a little bit at the top and girl this is a real easy install like I'm not doing no braiding I'm not doing none of that and it helps because I have new growth so I feel like I don't need even need to like do anchor braids or anything so what I'm gonna do is put my hair into two ponytails okay this is definitely beginner friendly if you don't know how to braid or if you don't feel like braiding, or if you just kind of confused as to even how to put this thing on. Um, yeah, this is something that's super easy for you to do. So I am gonna braid it a little bit just to make sure it's flat. I'm gonna just do a big braid. Just like that. I need rubber bands, hold on. All right, I am back with the rubbers. That didn't come out. Not the rubbers, <laughs> the rubber bands. <laughs> ah, okay, no, rewind, rewind. I'm back with the rubber bands, okay? And I'ma just, like, girl, real sloppy braid, nothing fancy at all. And I like to make sure I put that hair, like, going upwards, just like that, so my ends are somewhat protected, I guess. And then I'm just gonna put another big braid with this ponytail. Okay, boom, bam. Super easy, I just got like my two ponytail braids and I'ma just crisscross them. 
and bobby pin them just like that. I gotta get my bobby pins though, hold on. All right, got the bobby pins. <laughs> So just like that, super easy. And really, you don't even have to braid your hair if you just wanna put it into ponytails, twist it up, and like just find a way to like crisscross it so it can, you know, be somewhat flat. That's all you need to do, okay? So now, we're gonna take this wig, and you see those bands right there? We just gonna cut those off. And I wanna keep those on <laughs> when you're going to do, you know, a U-part install. So you can just cut them off, bam. So now it should look like that. And we just gonna throw this on and put the combs in. See how it's fitting, look at that. It's like a perfect fit to how I parted it. Combs right there and you just stick those in. Like I said, I do have a bunch of new growth, so that's the reason mine, that's the reason my combs got something to hold on to, but if your hair is like silkier or it just, it ain't enough grip, you know what I'm saying? You could either do like twists, you could do micro links, like um, where your leave out is. You could do some small anchor braids just so it can have something to grip onto. But girl, look at that. That new growth is gonna hold that in place for me. And it's a little loose, so I'ma um, adjust these bands back here. I'ma just put them bands together, put those combs in the back and on the sides. And I like having my hair like free when I do a U-part wig because it just feels better. Like, you know, it feels comfortable. And it don't even feel like I hardly got anything on my head. So look at that. Girl, and look how snug this is. Like what? This is such a perfect, easy install. Like seriously, I did that in less than five minutes. And this is just for like a day where, you know, you something you can take off at night and not have to worry about anything. But the the great thing about U parts is they're pretty versatile. Like, you know, you could sew it on. So if you want like more of a permanent uh, solution, permanent wear, you could just, you know, put your hair into braids, braid your hair down. You could sew right here and have like a quick five, 10 minutes sew in. Or if you like me and you do not like wearing braids or you do not like wearing wigs in your sleep and you just rather on and off type of thing you could just throw it right on that's it so now all that's left to do is to blend as you can see that's already blending pretty good like girl now these little pieces do flap up i don't think that's gonna be an issue for me because my hair is gonna pretty much cover it but if you wanted to you could add like little bitty like wig clips right at the front to like keep it up like that so we're just gonna go ahead and blend it in I'm just gonna use my hair art flat irons and yeah, let's get this thing blended. <laughs> wig in a hot little minute like honestly I can't even remember the last time I've had a u-part wig but baby oh I am in love with this I ain't even done girl I ain't even done styling and profiling and this just the easiness of it all like the ease of the install putting this on like one two three boom boom bam and then the blend I know we in a world full of laces and stuff and everybody's rocking a lace front, but listen, sometimes you just want 
a natural look like you don't even want to have to worry about people zooming in on you and looking real close and seeing your legs sometimes you just want a natural look sometimes you just want your hair out okay your hair out just a little bit with a little va va boom so this is definitely that and then it's even better because you don't have to have anything like actually installed on your hair it's just something quick something cute okay and you in there like swimwear so we're gonna go ahead and style this wig Choking a little bit on these hair fumes. <coughs> Should have cleaned them flat irons off. <coughs> but we about to go ahead and style it. I am going to cut this hair just a little bit. I'm gonna just give it some face framing layers. Even though this length is honestly so perfect. That's another thing with you parts. You kind of want to get a realistic length um, with your hair just so it blends and looks nice and natural which is why i got 16 inches so i can show y'all like you know what I'm saying? i really don't even have to cut layers because it already blends in so good with just that little piece of hair being left out but yeah getting a realistic length for yourself is the key is the plug with a u-part wig but i'm gonna just grab my hair and some of that wig hair all together i'm not gonna cut my hair but I'm just gonna use my hair as a guide to begin cutting down and just giving some really easy, not even doing too much, face framing layers. That's all it is to it, so baby. I'm gonna go ahead and style this hair. I'm just gonna throw in some quick curls, nothing fancy nothing complicated at all and i just want to show y'all when you are trying to blend with a u-part wig you want to make sure you style your hair and the wig hair together okay combine them they friends they sisters for life now so when you combine them everything just blends in together look at that look at that Y'all gonna have to quit playing with me today. This hair, first of all, do y'all see this hair? Like the quality, the quality. You ain't even gotta have no bundles for this quality. Like this wig is everything. I love this hair. I love how sturdy this hair is. Like girl, look at them ends, uh-huh. The quality on this hair is absolutely amazing. So I love it, I love this length. I like how flat it is, I like how thick it is. It's not too thick though, it's like super natural. Like everything about this hair is just absolutely amazing. Super easy to put on, as y'all can see, that was like literally a five minute install, okay? So if you're interested in Julia hair, make sure to check those links down below in the description box. The direct link to this wig will be down below. Thank you, Julia. Julia got your girl together, looking right, looking tight. And I also wanna show y'all how easy it would be to like take this off at night. So, as y'all can see through the video, I did not sew it, I ain't do nothing. So literally, girl, take the combs out, and that's it. You can pull the wig, pull 
Cool it right off, girl. And in the morning, girl, and bye. Put your little combs back in. Just like that. Comb your hair back down. Like, girl, what wig and what time? Because she don't be having the time. So yeah, that is it, girl. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure if you're here for this five-minute slay to give me a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you ain't subscribed, boo. Love y'all so much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at DTRJ to see some cute pictures. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out. Stay beautiful. All of that. Get you a you probably.